Well, Discovery Lab is calling makers, artists, and tinkerers of all ages. Tinkerer, it's for the museum's upcoming Tinker Fest that embraces the five branches of steam. Really interested to see this. All right, News on 6 is Alyssa Miller live with how this event partners with other museums near Green Country. And to answer, what is pewter casting? Alyssa? Good morning. Yeah, so I'm here at Discovery Lab and we're going to do a little bit of tinkering this morning ahead of Tinkerfest. Coming back to Discovery Lab on September 8th, I'm here as usual with Director of Education Chip Lindsay. We got our safety goggles on. We're ready to go to work. So what's the first step? So we're doing a little experiment with pewter casting. Pewter is an alloy of metals, mostly uh, tin and a little bit of zinc, a little bit of copper, a little bit of silver, but it has a really low melting point. So okay. it gives us a chance to use like common stuff like pots and pans. And a, and, a, and a heating element to melt molten metal and then make a cast. So, like, for instance, I've got this little pen that we use around here mm -hmm. as a... As a uh, With the Discovery Lab logo. Yeah. So I can, like, press it into the casting sand, wiggle it a little. Show that. And then it doesn't look like much. Yeah. Um, we did your finger Yes, here. in the break we put my finger in there, so we're going to so do that as well. Let's take the molten pewter that's in okay. the pan and just fill up your finger hole and maybe that little place where the pen was. It's heavy, isn't it? I know. I'm, like, shaking. I'm, like, so nervous I'm going to mess it up. Good? That's great. Okay. And then if you'll do the pen. And pewter melts between, like, 350 and 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so actually quite cool. Okay. Um, it's actually less than what it ca uh, what would cause paper to catch on fire, so it's uh, really amazingly um, easy to work with. Mm -hmm. So as it cools Did off... Did I do too much there, or is that yeah, okay? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see. It's, it's like all, it may be not looking like the Discovery Lab logo after, <laughs> after we're done. I bet it'll be fine. Um, as it cools down, you'll begin to see that it shrinks a little, and so it'll get a little concave, because as it, things cool, they compress. Right. Um, and so that'll give us a hint as to when it's time to pull it out. But Tinkerfest is happening on the 7th of September, Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be from 9.30 till 4. Okay. Um, we're having visitors come in from all of our uh, uh, colleagues mm -hmm. at the Amazium, at Science Museum of Oklahoma, at the Museum of Discovery and Science in um, Little Rock, and they'll be bringing teams here. Oh, wow. We'll send our team out to their Tinkerfest. So the whole month of September is one Saturday after the next of Tinkerfest all over the region. That's really cool. So what is it about Tinkerfest that people really enjoy, especially the kiddos? Yeah, uh, Tinkerfest is unusual because um, rather than just having people come and show what they do and tell about it, um, it really is an invitation for families, children, adults to get their hands on the tools and the yes. media um, that allow uh, our modern world to be created. So like casting with metal is a really important part of, uh, of uh, uh, how you build an engine block, for instance. Oh, okay. um, uh, we'll have a car take apart so that uh, families can slowly disassemble a, a vehicle from completely built until just bits and pieces. Um, we'll have a wonderful artist who does crochet, but does crochet sculptures. So she'll be showing her craft and inviting people in to use um, uh, yarn and textiles to, to weave and build. So it really is about getting your hands on stuff yes. and learning to think about the world in a different way. Very cool. All right, do you think it's ready? Think so let's see. Um, I, I want to pull your finger out, but let's do this first. Okay, let's see um, it. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so I'm going to cool it off really quickly in some water. Uh, you can hear it sizzle, so it's yes. still a little above boiling. So we use the brush toothbrush. It off, and then lo and behold. Oh, it did work. I see it. We have it. a cast of the pen. So now the real yeah, thing. Yeah, let's, let's see, see how my finger looks, guys. What your finger looks like. Man, I my finger looks very long. Oh my goodness. Let's see how warm it is. Can I pick it up? Let's cool it off. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I think we're going to have to give it a I wonder if this is how cooler. movie producers make fake um, body parts. <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty cool. Oh, wow. It's Check so that out, guys. It looks like a. It, I was really bending my finger, though. Or maybe it, maybe you should pull it yeah, out. Yeah, maybe. That it's is kind so of like neat. The you can see touch. the indention of the nail and everything. We could give it a manicure. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to paint my my fake finger here? <laughs> All right. Well, real quickly, tell everyone once again when Tinkerfest is and how they can get tickets. September seventh. Uh, it'll be here at Discovery Lab. Um, uh, 
Admission is the normal admission price, so just yep. come on down. And go to discoverylab.org to check out for more information, and maybe you can uh, mold your own finger. <laughs> That's what you're so, say. Thank you so much, Chip. <laughs> Alyssa, give me the finger. Okay. <laughs> it's 949. It was just too easy. Everybody's thinking yeah, it. It was a layup. The yeah. games are returning. When fans of the Netflix series Squid Game can expect season two and the finale season three. And an organization is taking out the pavement and putting paradise back in. The benefits of having a green space by a building. Now, after the break, hold on to your phone because we've got a chance for you to text in to win a $100 gift card to Sunshine Furniture. And then our daily prize winners registered for a chance to win a 2024 Ford Bronco Sport. Stay with us. The key to text coming up.